In this video, you will learn how to copy an Altrix container and transform the depreciation table for tangible personal property. If we compare the fixed asset list to the depreciation table for tangible personal property, we might notice their differences. However, from the perspective that we need to create an Altrix workflow which transforms the depreciation table into a format that can be used to compute depreciation, there are a lot of similarities in the transformations that need to be made to each of these files. For example, we need to get rid of unwanted rows and columns, create a header row, and change data types in order to prepare the depreciation table. As you will learn in this video, once you build out a workflow, Altrix makes it easy to complete similar transformations across different data sets. Since the transformations that need to be made to the depreciation table are similar to the transformations we made to the asset list, we can begin by copying the entire workflow at once. Copy the container by right-clicking on the container and selecting Copy from the list. Move your cursor to a blank space on the canvas and then right-click and select Paste from the list. Use your scroll bar to go down. To keep these containers separate, rename this new container to Half-Year Convention Depreciation Table Workflow. While the tools are the same, we need to make some minor adjustments to the configuration of each tool. The first adjustment is that we need to change the input data tool to import the depreciation table instead of the asset list. Click on the input data tool. In the connect a file or database box, click the drop down arrow and select files from the list. Then click select file and use the File Explorer to locate the depreciation table. Click Open. This time, when we're importing the depreciation table, we can see all of the sheets that are available to us. We are going to use the half-year sheet, so click OK. Go ahead and save and run your workflow. Then hit OK. Don't worry about the warning just yet. We're going to fix that. If we click on the output anchor of the input data tool, we can see that field F7 has data that we would like to keep. So we don't need to make any adjustments to the filter tool. If we click on the T output anchor, we see that the first row of data contains the data that we would like to use for our header row. So we don't need to make any changes to the dynamic rename tool. Go ahead and save and run the workflow one more time so that we're updating the data. Now when we click on the output anchor, we can see that the header row is populated for most of the data set. We notice that there is an exclamation point in a red circle. Altrix does this to help you quickly identify errors in your workflow. We know that we need to make some changes, so let's click on our Select tool, and we can quickly pinpoint the changes. It's that the fields that were in the Asset List data set are not in our Depreciation data set. So we need to remove these fields and instead include the fields from our Depreciation table. Altrix lets us do this fairly quickly. Click on the space next to Field 10, then hold the Shift key and click on the disposal date. Click on the drop down arrow next to options, go to select, and then deselect highlighted fields. This unchecks all the boxes. We want field 15 through the 20 year, so let's repeat this process. Click next to field 15, hold your shift key, and click next to the 20 year field. Then click on the drop down arrow, move to select, and now choose Select Highlighted Fields. Next, let's change the data type to All Numeric since the depreciation table only contains numeric data. Change the first field to Int32. 
change each subsequent field that we're keeping to fixed decimal. Unlike our asset list, the depreciation percentages are not reported in whole numbers. So to have sufficient accuracy, let's change the size from 0 to 4, allowing for four digits following the decimal place. Finally, let's change the name of the first field to recovery year. I'm going to scroll over and type in recovery year. We can go ahead and save and run our workflow. And we should now see that the error has been eliminated from the select tool. We do not need to compute any formulas at this time for the depreciation table. So click on the formula tool and hit the delete on your keyboard. Then go ahead and hit save and run one last time. And when we click on the output anchor of the select tool, we should see that our depreciation table is ready to be used. Good job. You have now created the second workflow to transform the tangible personal property depreciation table so that it can be used to compute depreciation. In the next video, you will learn how to join the tangible property data from the asset list to the half-year convention depreciation table.